So everyone else seems to be having a thought about it, so I might as well have my own. Um, there's a lot of talk going on right now with Furiosa about whether it's a box office bomb, technically speaking, money-wise, not really great. But also, is it kind of more of a reflection of the movie theater industry in general? Is it about Hollywood in general? Why would this movie have done like this if the Fury Road film was perceived so well? well there's a kind of a, a variety of factors. The first one, and I brought this up in my review, is that it's been way too long. Now, admittedly, it wasn't supposed to have been this long. After Fury Road's reception, uh, uh, George Miller wanted to make a Furiosa movie almost immediately. And he had done a little bit of kind of theorization about using Charlie Theron, but de-aging her. And eh, I don't know about that. Uh, but apparently there's a few interviews that talk about how he kind of changed his mind sometime around 2017, 2018, which just so happened to be the same time in which The Irishman came out. And, well, eh. So, apparently went back to the drawing board, but then there was discrepancy with Warner Brothers, which, of course, Warner Brothers was just in the absolute shit heel of their dynasty at this point. Um, if they weren't not paying the Tolkien estate residuals from the Lord of the Rings movies, or the Hobbit movies, they were ripping off George Miller, apparently. And I always find it interesting that he wants to keep working with them. I think it's because they own the Madden Fat Max brand now but they know that he's really the only one who can make those movies anyways there was that then obviously there was covid and then there was talk about doing the movie with anya taylor joy and then eventually 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 we finally got it nearly nine years like over nine years later so yes it's been a really long time now, the one thing that can be said about Mad Max Fury Road is that it did not have a woo reception at first. Uh, yes, it, it was praised. It was really heavily uh, lauded with uh, acclaim and love from critics and whatnot. But I remember going to see it on uh, opening weekend and there wasn't a lot of people in the theater. The movie got word of mouth and people went and saw it. And that was what helped drive its numbers up, and it made a little bit more money than it was supposed. Than it originally, it might have had the word of mouth not done as well as it did. Fury Osa is not getting the same. Now, admittedly, it is getting well received. It's getting high praise. I thought it was all right. I gave it a four out of seven. But the big reasons being one, it's been too long. Two. It's a little bit of a cheap thing when they add the Mad Max saga thing at the end. I bet you that was Warner Brothers just adding that in because like, oh, no one's going to know who Furiosa is. Um, and the other bit being uh, just the CG. Like a lot of that really took me out. I, it's not terrible. It's not game breaking, but it did hinder the experience for me in ways that I just didn't enjoy. I thought that it could have maybe done in different ways, but at the same time, I understand why they went with it. Uh, George Miller was very, very concerned about safety, which I'm not going to fault him on. I know that there was a lot and a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of prep work done for Fury Road that made it go well over uh, schedule, um, as well as also the location nightmares they went through just trying to get that movie filmed. If you guys want a really good video about it, watch uh, This Is A Shit Show. Uh, he did a video talking about Fury Road and how they changed locations essentially three times due to literal fucking mother nature. The other thing, though, that uh, some people have brought up, which, again, actually quite relatable because I literally made a comment about it when I saw The Fall Guy. Ticket prices are stupid now. I understood where they were say back in 2012 2014 uh an imax ticket now again this is for canadians um i'm speaking for canadians so americans you might not get what i'm talking about uh, apologies but i hope that the numbers are relevant enough so an imax ticket when dark knight rises came out was 20 bucks that made sense that made sense considering the quality the sound system everything that obviously made sense since then it has risen to 25 dollars Okay, a bit, eh? mm -hmm. okay, but you know what? I, I, I mean, I guess that's a $5 raise, a rise after 10 years, 10 plus years. 
is it still a bit ridiculous yes but that inflation to me kind of makes sense for that kind of ticket i'm not encouraging it i'm not condoning it sorry i'm not in, like saying it's great and it's a good thing but it for that theater it made sense i went and saw the fall guy the week prior in a regular theater like nothing special no abx no moving chair no blah blah blah, blah just regular ass theater it was 17 fucking dollars that used to be 11 that used to be 11 12 and it was that for a long time and now it's like what why would i want to see a movie like this is like for any like a horror movie anything i don't want to see regular movies now unless i'm seeing them on a tuesday because why would i pay 17 dollars for a regular seeing like maybe the movie might be good but that's just absurd to me and this is coming from someone who has been living off of gift cards that he gets for christmas and birthdays i can't imagine someone who actually has to shell out money all the time i'm almost at the end of my gift cards and I'm not kidding when I say that's all I ask for for my birthdays and Christmas. If I, if if my parents and family are ever like, what do you get you? Just, just get me this. I don't need anything else, but I would love some gift cards to the movie theaters. And I've gone through almost all of them. And it's not even halfway through the year. That's never happened before. So that it kind of further shows just how insanely overpriced movie tickets are now just talking about it from a regular person's perspective just like it's my wife and i are just myself i can't even imagine what it's like to go and see the movies with kids when you've got inside out coming out and say you've got three kids so they're gonna want to want popcorn and drinks and whatnot that's what over a hundred dollars now so I understand when people are complaining about prices for tickets and stuff like that. Yes, that is definitely a factor. So it's not just Furiosa itself. It is the ticket industry right now. Um, do I think that theaters are replaceable? Absolutely not. I have never, ever said that. The theater is one of my favorite places ever in my entire life. It is one of the greatest places I get to go to on a very regular occasion. And uh, what's his name? The CEO of Netflix can eat his own fucking asshole for what he said about Barbie and Oppenheimer. Get fucked, you absolute fuck. There is no way that watching Oppenheimer at home would have any form of similarity to what it was like seeing it in IMAX. Seeing it on the 70 millimeter IMAX print was a fucking experience. So he can go and shove a corn of cob up his asshole for that comment. Like, fuck him. I, I was not happy with that comment. But at the same time, people are used to that now. People are used to watching movies at home, not the corn of the cob up their ass. Um, Fall Guy is was on uh, on demand, I think, what, like less than three weeks later? So people are just kind of getting accustomed to it. So why would you want to go out of your way to go to the movie theater, pay this much when you could just watch it at home and it would not rip your asshole open for cost. So that's, that, that is a factor. And finally, the, I would say, like I said, this, the timing, I, I think I re really already talked about that, but this movie took way too long to come out. I think that it would have been more relevant. I think it would have done even better just before COVID. It would have been really hard to do this after COVID, but I mean, if they struck the iron while it was hot, once measures had come down at, in 2021, maybe, but still, I don't know. For the length of time that we've waited, it's pretty mm, to say that this is what we got after all this time. Does it make Fury Road better? Absolutely. I watched Fury Road the day after I watched Furiosa and it basically gave me these little O's while there was moments that uh, Furiosa was talking about, like how she was taken as a child, the green place. It definitely makes that one scene where Charlize Theron is on the sand dune, just screaming out in agony when she finds out the green place is gone. That scene already was really good and it's tenfold better now because of Furiosa. However, 
Did you need a full movie about it? No, this could have been a graphic novel. This really could have been a graphic novel. Honestly, three lines of dialogue in Fury Road that she talks about the green place and how she got to where she is now. Yeah, it, it didn't have to be a two and a half hour long movie. Yes, it does give us a lot more lore about the Furiosa, uh, or sorry, the Mad Max uh, universe at that current time. We learn more about the Bullet Farm, Gas Town, uh, Morton Joe, the kind of the landscape as it is. But was it worth a full movie? I don't know. But at the same time, Mad Max is not as woo as everyone makes it out to be. Fury Road is like a phenomenon in that movie's, or that franchise's history. Like the Mad Max game that came out wasn't good. Um, sorry, not, not that it wasn't good. I actually really enjoyed it. The reception for sales was not as good as it could have been. Um, they apparently have never thought about doing another one because of how just kind of meh the reception was. And that sucks too, because Furiosa's made me want to replay the game again. So I'm probably going to be picking it up and playing it again for the first time in years. Those are just my thoughts anyways about it. I'm curious what you guys think. Do you think it's a combination of waiting too long, the CG trailers kind of giving people any feelings? Uh, our cost of movie theaters, that's a good idea. Or one of those, or whichever. Like, what are your reasons you think that this movie is not doing as well as it is? I'd be very curious. Let's have a conversation. Let's all be civil, of course, please. I, I request that. I know I've been blabbering along as not <laughs> enough as it is. I am curious to see what you guys think because it is a very odd time right now when we are wanting more original movies and we're getting them not obviously as much as we would like, but when we do get them, they don't do well. That's all from me, guys. Very interested to see what you guys have to say. If you can, let me know in the comments below. If you and if you like this video, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, subscribe. And until then, see you guys next time.